Murray means smoke in Japanese. So everything we do, I try to incorporate a little bit of some kind of smoke. I just want to incorporate the roots of Japanese cooking and my experience from being in Texas. To create this like, I don't know, John Wayne on acid in Tokyo kind of situation, you know what I mean? So. Izakaya is a Japanese gastro club. It's essentially a go-to place for you know people in the neighborhood in Japan. And the whole concept is, you know, you're drinking and eating little snacks here and there, and you just shooting shit with your friends. That's izakaya. To me, the vibe is great. You know, it feels like kind of walking into Japan. There's all these still Texas elements inside and really high energy, positive energy. It's like a roadhouse in Japan <laughs> or izakaya in Texas. Ramen is very regional. You can tell, especially like as we traveled all over Japan. We live in Texas where we can find awesome barbecues. and It's just been natural progression. Essentially, the Texas ramen is regional to here. When we started playing around with it, like in 2012, family meal, let's put brisket on it. Oh, that's pretty good. That really started it all. I think it's, it's all about the balance. For me, I think brisket can't be too dry. Essentially, like, melts in your mouth. And the thing about brisket and smoking, there's just so many different variables that take place. People that eat ramen are really like passionate about it. Same thing with barbecue. A lot of people ask, how does Japanese food work with food from Texas and smoke stuff? And I, I always tell them, you know, the core of Japanese cuisine is dashi. It's actually smoked petrified bonito shavings. And you make stock out of that, and it's almost used in every dish. There's that smoky umami element to it, just, you know, kind of hits you right there. When you go to Japan, and you know, usually like summertime, there's a lot of street festivals, and they have a lot of street vendors. And one of the things I love is street corn in Japan. Essentially, it's butter soy. It's corn. It's grilled. We, you know, skewer it. Yeah, and then we add a little butter, soy, and we finish it off with the yuzu pepper aioli we make. Queso and, fresco. Yeah, queso fresco and togarashi, bonito flakes. Green onions. In Texas, you have the uh, Hispanic influence, so the Mexican street corn, you know, so, elote. So, ah, just marry those together. Why not? Barbecue boat. It's essentially this platter of barbecue, but it's kind of on the rotation. Whatever we are feeling at the time, we'll smoke it and we make a little barbecue boat. Like a sushi boat? Oh, just kind of a little play on like barbecue plate uh, our way. The boat is cool because it's, it's a collective mix. You get to experience what we're doing here. Sometimes we'll put stuff on the boat that we don't have in the menu. We put three items on there. Today, we're gonna put a brisket, duck, and unagi. Which is eel. The brisket is a Texas-style brisket, so we smoke it. The unagi is a, a freshwater eel. That gets cold smoke, and then we finish on the Bichotan grill. Bichotan is a Japanese coal that burns longer and cleaner. And then we have a duck, and that gets smoked, and then we finish it on the Bichotan grill as well. We always try to put the brisket on there, and the other two are kind of rotating. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't order it. The unagi, but once they try it, then they'll start ordering it. This space right here it used to be a barbecue spot. Essentially, this space worked out perfect. It's not a planned thing. It's not like we made this out of thin air, you know? It's, it's something we lived through. Definitely it's, representation of, of us being Japanese, Texans. Yeah, it's just natural progression from uh, who we are. 
we're Japanese and I'm an immigrant and I was raised here so you know it just <laughs> it just it just happened you know